Welcome. Glad to have you here. You made it to your mat. Thanks for totally. You made it to your mat. You made it here. Everything else is optional, right? You made it here. My name is Jennifer. We have 60 minutes to take a slow journey into power. The theme of today's class is going to be taken from 30 by Emily Marushin. And before I get into today's theme, let me make some announcements. We have two really awesome things coming up this month. Sound bath healing, intro to playing the sound bath instruments with Larissa. You're already working on getting registered. May 20th, so a Friday evening from 7 to 9 p.m., $28. It's capped at 15 people. It will be an intro to, like, what, how do you make a crystal bowl sing? What do they sound like? So you'll be having, like, the opportunity to get hands-on, the drums, the rain drum, the shaman drum, the crystal bowls, the gong, and who doesn't love hitting a gong? I don't know, just saying. Um, so sign up either through the Mind Body Online app or through the website. Um, we have a QR code out front that will bring up the schedule if you're interested in that. I am leading a full day immersive What is Baptiste Power Yoga on May 28th. It's a Saturday from 10 a.m. to 3.45 p.m. There will be yoga, there will be asana, there will be meditation, there will also be inquiry. A full day immersive. Studio members get half off. For non-studio members, it's 150. For studio members, you get 50% off. Ask me for the coupon code, and it takes it down to 75 bucks. Now that we're done with announcements, um, I know you're all kind of seated. Do something intentional to create a seat so that I can read you like six sentences. Prepare your ears. Okay. The theme of today's class is a quote. Pain might make you stronger or smarter for the next time around, but learning to heal that pain makes you wiser for the rest of your life. So, to carry that into your practice this evening, notice your body sensations that come up as you practice. Just notice them. No need to like catalog them or categorize them or judge them. Just notice. Let's begin. Child's pose. And here, in child's pose, turn on your ujjayi breathing in and out of your nose. Audible inhale, audible exhale. And use your ujjayi breath as your tangible reminder that you're here, you are alive. Let me hear your breath. Let me hear your exhale. Good, do that again. Downward facing dog. Spread your fingers wide, root down through your first finger and thumb knuckle. Mm -hmm. Really feel the mat under your hands, feel the mat underneath your feet. See your toes at the back of your mat. Feel your toes, inhale, exhale, so good, inhale, exhale. Walk your feet to your hands and take ragdoll pose, clasp opposite elbows, drop your head, see the back of your mat, see what's back there. Sway from side to side. Put a big bend in both of your knees. Good movement here. Lift and spread your 10 toes. And then lightly put your toes back down on the mat. Okay. 
extended mountain. Reach your hands up to the ceiling, send your eyes up to the ceiling, then bring your hands to heart center, see the tips of your fingers, feel your feet firmly planted on the floor, and we'll open this evening's class with the sound of three ohms. up extended mountain fold forward exhale halfway lift inhale place your hands on your mat and come to high plank feel your hands on your mat in high plank pull your belly button into your spine feel that hugging in that you're creating take a breath in so good lower halfway down exhale Untuck your toes, upward facing dog, press the earth away from you, downward facing dog, see your feet at the back of your mat. Three breaths. Look forward top of your mat. Step, hop, jump. Yeah, halfway lift. Forward fold. Extended mountain. Reach up, breathe in. Fold forward, breathe out. Inhale, halfway lift. Place your hands on your mat and flow from high push-up to low push-up. Upward facing dog. Untuck your toes. Press the tops of your feet down for up dog. Dini, untuck your toes, press the tops. Yes, so good. Downward facing dog. Good work. When you land in down dog, take two huge breaths. Breathe in your nose and breathe out your nose. Yeah, good, Chris. Bend your knees, look at your thumbs, jump top of your mat. Halfway lift, yes. Forward fold. Extended mountain, reach up, breathe in. Fold forward, breathe out. Moving with your breath, halfway lift, inhale. Hands on your mat, vinyasa flow, high to low, up dog and down dog. High push up, low push up, up dog, down dog. And we meet in downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale. Do that again. Empty out, bend your knees, look at your thumbs, jump top of your mat. Good, Josie, halfway lift, yes, share, forward fold. Inhale, extended mountain, reach up, breathe in. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift, inhale, hands on your mat, flow. High push up, low push up, so good, share. Up dog and down dog. Good work. Inhale here, exhale here, another breath, empty out, look at your thumbs, jump to the top of your mat, halfway lift, forward fold, take your big toes to touch, chair pose, sit low, reach high, sit your hips down towards the back of your mat. Pull your belly button into your spine. Pull your shoulders down your back body, away from your ears. Breathe in. Stay, breathe out. Inhale. Fold, exhale. Halfway lift, breathe in. Hands on your mat, vinyasa high to low. Inhale up. Exhale down. Right foot steps forward, warrior one. Right foot to right thumb. Back foot plants. 
Yeah, and everybody take your back foot, your left foot, take it wider. So take it wider towards the lobby, towards the lobby. More, 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 more. So like the pinky toe edge of your foot, yeah, is on your mat. And then point your toes a little more towards me, towards the front of your mat, the back foot. Mm-hmm, good, good. Now take your right knee to a 90 degree angle. Bend, 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 bend. Press your right knee towards your right pinky toe, yes. Reach your arms up towards the ceiling. Spin your pinky fingers in, lightning from your fingertips. Yes. Look up, breathe in. Stay, breathe out. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hands on your mat, vinyasa flow, high push up, low push up. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. Left foot forward, warrior one. Left foot to left thumb. Yeah, give your hips space. Take your back foot wide. Good, 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 good. Yeah, squeeze skin to muscle to bone. Squeeze in. Big bend in your left knee. Left knee good. Press it away. Pull your belly button in. Send your eyes up. Reach your fingers. Inhale here. Exhale here. Inhale, exhale, flow, hands on your mat, high push-up, low push-up. Inhale, up dog, exhale, down dog. Good, Dini, yes. So good, Cher. We all meet in downward facing dog. Inhale, exhale, look forward, jump your feet to your hands. Yes, halfway lift, forward fold. Chair pose. Squeeze into your center line and sit your hips down low. Inhale into your nose. Sit lower. Exhale out your nose. Inhale. Fold. Exhale. Halfway lift. Breathe in. Hands on your mat. High push up, low push up, up dog and down dog. Right side, warrior one. Right foot to right thumb. Yeah, big, big, big bend in your right knee. Pressing down through the center of your right heel. Where is your breath? This room is awfully quiet. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, reach up, look up. Exhale, hands on your mat, vinyasa, high to low. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Warrior one, left foot forward. So good, step your left foot forward. Back foot plants, take your foot wide, give your body space. Mm -hmm. Good, Dini, reach up, look up. Stay, exhale. Another breath. Exhale, flow. High push up, low push up. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Good work. Lift your right leg. And flex your right foot. Pull your toes towards your kneecap. The other flex. Yeah, like you could stomp the sole of your foot on the back wall. Good. Bend your right knee and stack your right hip up and over your left hip like a dog at a fire hydrant. Yeah. And now take your right foot down to the floor. Spin around on your left tippy toes. Reach your right hand to where the wall meets the ceiling. Mm-hmm. Flip dog. Press your hips up. Look at your right thumb for five. One, two, Three, so good, y'all. Four, five, side plank, right hand down. Right hand down, right foot down. Now reach your left hand to the ceiling. Lift your top leg for three. One, two, three, downward facing dog. Take a huge breath in. Open your mouth, sigh it out. Ah, let something go. Do that again. 
Lift your left leg. Bend your knee and stack your hips. And flip your dog. Land both feet on the earth. Press your hips up to the ceiling. Reach your left arm to the front of the space. See your left thumb. One, two, three, four, five. Side plank, left hand down. Left knee down, left foot down. Lift your top leg, reach up for the ceiling for three. One, two, three. Downward facing dog. Good work, everybody, good work. Take a breath in. Make some noise. Ah. Step your right foot forward for crescent lunge. Right foot to the front of your mat and stack your back heel high over your tippy toes. Mm -hmm. so bring your back heel high over your tippy toes. Mm -hmm. Big bend in your right knee. Big bend. Mm -hmm. Reach your hands up towards the ceiling. Feel your feet rooting onto the floor. Good. Inhale here. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Inhale. Exhale, twist to the right. Bring your left elbow to your right knee. Left elbow to your right knee. Mm -hmm. Press them in towards one another. So good. If you'd like to open your arms, do that. We're here for three. One, two, Three, warrior two. Back foot parallel with the back edge of your mat. Mm -hmm. Good, front heel in line with back arch, front foot's on 12 o'clock. Mm -hmm. 90 degree bend-ish in your right thigh to cause some heat to arise in your right thigh. Set your eyes to your right middle finger. Mm -hmm. Pull your shoulders down away from your ears, so good. Take a breath in, let it go. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Keep the bend in your right knee, go up and go the back. Bend more into your right knee, oh yes. Extended side angle. Bring your forearm to your thigh or your fingers to the earth inside your right foot. Yogi's choice. Good, so good. Breathe in here, breathe out here. We're here for five, one two, three, four, five, vinyasa, high push up, low push up, up dog, down dog, mm. crescent lunge, left side, left foot step forward, Mm, so good, y'all. Stacking, yeah, so good. Stacking, mm-hmm. Big bend in your left knee. Press your left knee towards your left pinky toe. Hands to heart center. Twist to the left. Make the connection. Open your arms. If that appeals to you, we're here for five. One two, three, four, five, warrior two, warrior two, mm -hmm. yeah, huge bend in your left knee, and still pressing left knee towards left pinky toe, you'll feel this in your outer left hip, mm -hmm. press down through the knife's edge of your back foot, Reverse your warrior, keep the bend, go up and go back. Keep the bend, go up and go back. Yeah, left arm reaches towards the back wall. And now take extended side angle. Left forearm to left thigh or fingers to the earth. Recreate that giant bend, yes, yeah, so good. So good. We're here for five. One, two, three, four, Five, high push up, low push up. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. 
Do that again. You can, you can use these on your face. You're welcome. Bend your knees, look at your thumbs, jump top of your mat. Mm, halfway lift, forward fold, chair pose. Sit low, reach high, hands to heart center, twist to the right and sit your hips down low for three, one, two, three, chair pose. Hands to center, twist left, sit down lower, one, two, three, forward fold, let it go. Grab a hold of your big toes with your first two fingers and actively pull up on your toes to create a bend in your elbows. So you're creating tension. You're pulling up on your toes and pressing your toes down into your fingers. Drop your head. Drop the weight of your skull. So good, Dini, yes. Release your big toes, slide your hands all the way underneath your feet. Slide your hands all the way underneath your feet so your toes are up by your wrist creases. You're literally standing on your hands. So toes up to your wrist creases, like, like so. And then drop your head. Mm -hmm. Press up into the soles of your feet with your fingers. Feel that. Press into the soles of your feet with your fingers. And then press your toes into the palms of your hands. Shake, shake your head yes and shake your head no. Good. And release this pose and you'll take forearm plank. Forearm plank for everyone. Create forearm plank. Good. We're here for 10. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Downward facing dog. Good work. Bend your knees, jump your feet to your hands. Yes. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Extended mountain. Rise, reach. Take your hands to heart center. Set your eyes out to the wall in front of you. Find one spot that's not moving. One spot. Glue your eyes to that spot and keep that spot through our standing balancing postures. Eagle, right side. Wrap your right leg up and over your left leg. Wrap your right arm up and under your left arm or grab opposite shoulders. Squeeze. Squeeze your right leg over your left leg. Squeeze. Mm -hmm. And then find your one spot. Squeeze for five, one, two, three, four, five. Switch sides, good work. Good work, breathing in and out of your nose, eyes transfixed on one spot, eagle, left side. Squeeze your two legs into one leg, put a bend in your standing knee, mm, squeeze. One, two, three, four, five, switch. Right side, second set. One, two, three, four, five, switch. One, two, three, four, five, release. Standing leg raise. Grab your block, bring your block up. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna place the block so it's gonna be underneath your left hand when you hinge forward. So put it on the tall setting so that it's right there underneath your left hand and we'll get to it. Standing leg raise. Pull your right knee up into your chest. Grab your right knee with your right hand. Mm -hmm. Flex your right foot. Toes up towards your kneecap. Flex your right foot. Yeah. Open your right leg out to the right. Extend your left arm out to the left. Look at your left thumb. 
on three, one, two, three. Come back to center, kick your foot forward, reach your hands up, mm, airplane, arms back, right leg back, palms face the earth. Yeah, squeeze your shoulder blades, flex your right foot, yes. Hands to heart center, half moon, left hand down to the block. Stack your right hip up and over your left. Reach your right arm to the ceiling. Mm, lift your back leg. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Foot, bottom foot's on 12 o'clock. Mm-hmm. The more you stomp down, the more you can lift. One, two, we're going for five. Three, so good, y'all. Four, five, release. Switch sides. Move the block so that it's underneath your other hand and take standing leg raise, left side. Good work, left knee, left hand. Open, reach, look, one, two, three. Come back to center, kick, reach, airplane. Arms back, foot back, foot flexed. Stomp the back wall. Mm. Hands to heart center, half moon, right hand touches down on the block. Left hand reach for the ceiling, yes, yeah, stack your hips, stomp down to stack your hips and lift your top leg, look up, one, two, three, four, five, release, let it go. Good work. Okay, dancer pose, right side. My word of advice, or the thing I always offer in dancer pose is to take an open shoulder grip. And an open shoulder grip is when you take your hand out by your side for dancer, right hand, right foot, bring your hand right down by your side, palm facing out. And put your attention on the palm of your hand so that your palm stays out when you grab the inside of your right foot. Good, good. Now kick your right toes towards the ceiling, reach your left arm to the front of the room, pull and kick and reach. One, two, we're going for five, three, so good, y'all, four, five, good work, switch sides, <coughs> good work. Palm out, mm-hmm, grab the, mm, grab the, mm, 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 mm. palm out, and now bring your left foot up to meet your hand, palm out, yeah, grab the inside, uh, it, it, it. <laughs> put your attention in the palm of your hand, there. and grab the inside of your foot. Yes, yes, it changes your shoulder mobility. Good work, y'all. Kick and pull, one, two, three, four, five. So good, Chris, yes, release. Second set, dancer pose. Find your spot out here. Take your foot in your hand, one, two, three, Four, five, switch. One, two, three, four, five. So good, Cher. Tree pose. Take your right foot to your ankle, your calf, or your inner thigh if that's in your practice, above or below your knee. Mm -hmm. And press into your center line. Press. Leg into foot, foot into leg. Pull the pit of your belly in. Reach your hands up to the ceiling. Reach up, look up. Lift your chest up to the ceiling. Close your eyes. One, two, three. Good work, good work. Change sides. Tree pose. Press, foot, leg, leg, foot. Lift, pull in, reach up. Look up and then close. One, two, three. So good. Make your way to the top of your mat. Reconnect your feet into the earth. Extended mountain, inhale, lift up. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift, breathe in. Hands on your mat, high push up. Exhale down to low push up. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. 
Step your right foot forward for triangle. Mm -hmm. Bring your fingertips to the block on the outside of your right shin. Mm -hmm. I like the block on the tall setting. Mm -hmm. Press the knife's edge of your left foot down and away. Reach your left fingers for the ceiling. Put lightness in your right fingertips. Lightness in your right fingertips. We're here for five. One, two, three, four, five. Rise up to standing. Point all your toes to the left side of your mat. Fold forward, side facing, wide leg, forward fold. Drop your head. Mm -hmm. Bring your fingertips back in line with your toes. Turn your hands around and crawl your hands away from your head. Put a tiny bend in both knees. Shake your head, yes. Shake your head, no, good work. Breathe in and breathe out. <sighs> Pyramid pose. Point your right toes forward. Take your left foot halfway up your mat and wide. Mm -hmm. Right toes point forward, left foot halfway up and wide. Mm, good. Dig your heels down, reach your hands up. Fold over your front, vent, front leg. Front thigh, front leg, front feg. <sighs> Set your eyes on your left big toe. Let go of the weight of your head. <sighs> Twisting triangle, connect your left fingers to the floor. Right hand reach for the ceiling. Mm, press your back heel down. One, two, we're going for five, three, four, five. Take a breath in. Vinyasa, let it go. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Left foot forward triangle. Ground your heels down. Lightness in your left fingertips. Light. Mm -hmm. Micro bend of both knees. The microest of micro bends. Mm, yes. One. Two, three, four, five. Come up to standing. Point all your toes to the right side of your mat. Interlace your hands at the small of your back. And press your fists down and away from the back of your skull. Keep a tiny bend in your elbows, tiny bend in your knees. And drop your head, fold forward. We're here for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pyramid pose, left toes, point them forward. Right foot, shorten your stance. Fold. Eyes to your right big toe. Mm, bow. <sighs> Pressing the center of each heel into the earth. Twisting triangle, right fingertips stay, left fingertips reach. One, two, three, four, 
Five, breathe in. Vinyasa as you exhale. Three yogi push-ups. High push-up, low push-up, high push-up, low push-up, high push-up, low push-up. Lower all the way down. Put one ear on the floor, on the earth, on your mat. One ear rests. Arms back by your sides. Palms down. Locust pose. Lift your hands, your chest, your feet up off the earth. See the top edge of your mat for five. One, lift, two, three, four, five. Lower all the way down. Good work. Rest in ear. Locust, lift, one, two, three, four. Five, lower all the way down. Good work, y'all. <sighs> Floor bow, bend your knees, grab your feet or your ankles. Mm -hmm. And kick your feet into your hands and pull on your feet with your hands like you did in dancer pose. Rise up for five. One, two, three, four, five. Release, sway your feet from side to side. Floor bow. Take your grasp, feet or ankles or shins, rise. One, two, three, four, five. Let it go. Good work. Take a breath in, side out. <sighs> Extend your legs out long on your mat. Place your hands on your mat so that your thumbs are back by your bottom ribs. Find your bottom ribs with the sides of your thumbs. Palms on the earth. Mm -hmm. Now take your hands wide so that your pinky fingers are off the edges of your mat or close to it. Okay, good. Pull your shoulders away from your ears, down your back body. Oh, so good, y'all. Now press your hands into the floor with everything you've got. Press the tops of your feet into the floor with e tops of your feet, the other tops of your feet. So untuck your toes. Yes, yes. Upward facing dog. Press down with your hands, down with the tops of your feet to straighten your arms. Keep a tiny bend in your elbows. Now lift your thighs up off the earth and your knees up off the earth with this. Yes, one, two, three. So good, downward facing dog. Yes, that was the best up dog ever. Yes, so good. Yeah, it takes a little setting up, it's okay. Come down to your knees and set up camel pose. That is like the optimal workshop for up dog is right there. I know that we've done like a half a dozen already, but that's like the ideal, like set it up slow. So stand on your knees for camel, hips stacked over knees, yes. Hands to the small of your back. Press your hips forward, a little bit. Lift your chest up. Lift your chest up. Maybe you see the back wall. We're here for five. Keep breathing. One, two, three, four, five. Come out of camel, sit down in your heels. Pause, take a breath in. Let it go. And we'll go again. And lift, lift from the center of your breastbone straight up to the ceiling. One, two, three, four, five. Come out, sit, rest, pause. Good, 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 good. Make your way onto your back for bridge pose. So lie on your back. Knees bent, 
Can you touch the center of your heel with the tip of your middle finger? Lie down. Can you touch the center of your heel with your middle finger? Mm-hmm, good. Everybody take the block and squeeze the block in between your thighs to set up the hips width distance. Take a block, squeeze it between your thighs. Mm-hmm, squeeze, mm-hmm. So squeeze into your center line. Press your heels down into the floor, and as you squeeze the block, press your hips up to the ceiling. Squeeze and lift. Ah, oh, good. One, two, three, four, five. Lower all the way down. We have six more just like that. Bridge, or if wheel is in your practice, take wheel with the block, squeezing into center line the whole time. Each one's a five count. Number one of six, go. One, two, three, four, five. Number two of six, one, two, three, four, five. Number three, one, two, three, four, Five, number four, one, two, three, four, five, number five, one, two, three, four, five, last one, number six, one, two, three, four, five, lower all the way down, set the block off to the side, take reclined butterfly pose. Press the soles of your feet together. Let your knees go wide. Lie down. One hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. Happy baby. Grab the pinky toe edges of your feet. Press your tailbone down. Press the back of your head down. Release your feet up towards the ceiling. Flex your feet. Mm, good. So good, Josie. Yes, Jeannie. Put your toes back towards your face more, Chris. Yes! Now reach your fingers up towards your feet. Pulse for 10. One, two little pulses. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Lower your right leg to a hover. Keep flexing both of your feet. Pulse. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Squeeze your knees into your chest. Put your hands underneath your tailbone. Send your legs back up to the ceiling and flex your feet. 30, 60 legs. Lower down 30 degrees. Keep pulling your toes back towards your face, pressing out through your heels. 60 degrees. Take your feet to a hover, two inches up off the earth. Look up and see your toes for five. One, two, three, four, five. Head down, legs up. Lower down, 30, 60. Hover your feet, see your toes, see your toes. Look at them, one, look at them, hover. Two, three, four, five. Head down, legs up. Lower down, 30 degrees. 60 degrees, hover your feet one inch off the floor, look up and see your toes, one, two, three, four, five, head down, legs up, last one right here, lower down, 30, 60, hover your feet, see your toes, one, two, three, four, five, squeeze your knees into your chest, let it go. Yogi bicycles, abdominal twists, interlace your hands at the nape of your neck. Keep your elbows wide, flex your feet. Yes. Take your right elbow to your left knee, kick your right leg out for 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Squeeze your knees into your chest, rock up to a high boat. Two high boats, each one's a five count. High boat number one, two, three, four, five. Low boat, one, two, three, four, five. High boat, one, two, three, four, five. Low boat, one, two, three, four, five. Let it go. You can take reclined half pigeon. If you're taking reclined half pigeon, you take your right shin across your left thigh. If you're coming to traditional half pigeon, you'll come through downward facing dog. You want to take it reclined, you lie down on your back. And take your right shin across your left thigh. And then you 
thread your hands around to the back side of your left leg. So right hand goes in between your two legs. Grab the back side of your left thigh. Yeah, reclined half pigeon. Left thigh, left, left shin, wait, right shin on left thigh. Left and right is hard, flex your feet a lot. Flex your feet a lot, press the back of your head into the floor. And then switch sides. Then come up to a seat and take seated figure four, which is a variant of the half pigeon. Or, depending upon how your hips feel, you can take double pigeon where you stack your shins like fire logs. You may have a lot of distance, so maybe seated figure four maybe works. Press your chest up towards the ceiling. And switch sides. And then take frog pose so that your head is facing Florida Avenue away from the lobby. You might fold up the corners of your mat if you want extra cushion under your knees. And you're gonna make right angles with your thighs, your shins, and your feet. And you'll come down to your forearms or you'll come down to the block underneath your chest. If you go the long way on your mat, both knees will have extra cushion. So face, yeah, flex your feet a lot. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, good. Pulling your toes up towards your kneecaps. We're here for 50 seconds. 50 seconds to lengthen your breath in and your breath out. seconds. Make your way out of frog and then set yourself up into seated single leg extension. So come to a seat Extend one leg, bring the other foot to your inner thigh, and fold forward. Like seated tree. Mm -hmm. Press the sole of your left foot into your right inner thigh. Mm -hmm. And fold, bow forward. Set your eyes in towards your navel. Switch sides. Seated forward fold. Both legs come out long. Reach up, fold forward. Reverse tabletop, bring your hands back by your hips, bend your knees, press your feet into the floor, lift your hips up to the ceiling, see the back wall. One, going for five, two, three, four, five. Lower your bottom down to the floor, take fish pose, put your hands under your sit bones and come down to your forearms on the floor, extend your legs out long, lift your chest up, 
see the back wall. One, two, three, four, five. Come up and out of fish, and then take a simple inversion. Put the block underneath your tailbone and send your legs up to the ceiling. So lie on your back. Block underneath your tailbone. Send your legs up to the ceiling. Simple inversion. And breathe in and out of your nose. Pain might make you stronger or smarter for the next time around, but learning to heal that pain makes you wiser for the rest of your life. Take the next five breaths. Count your breaths. Five breaths to slowly come down out of this inversion. No rush. Lengthen your inhale. Lengthen your exhale. And then as you slowly, slowly, slowly Make your way down out of your inversion. Take the block out from underneath you. Stretch your whole body out from your fingers to your toes. Reach and stretch. And then hug one knee into your chest and take a supine twist. Take your knee across your body. Look in the opposite direction that your knee is twisting. Mm, good. We're here for five. One two, three, four, five, switch sides, one, two, three, four, five, reclined butterfly pose. And then move your body into your final resting pose. I invite you to take your feet out wide off the corners of your mat. Bring your arms down by your sides. And I'll come around and I'll place a cool lavender towel on your forehead. If this is something you do not want, bring one hand to your belly. I see you.
Take a deep breath in. Open your mouth, stick out your tongue, make some noise. Do that again, lion's breath. Wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, and then roll to your favorite side. Press yourself up to a seated position at the top of your mat. Bring your hands to heart center and touch your thumbs to your breastbone and sit tall. We'll seal this practice with the sound of three ohms. Oh. knuckles to your forehead center and tilt your chin to the heavens and invite in whatever it is you need to allow yourself to feel whatever it is that you're feeling because feeling it is the prerequisite to healing it take a breath in together we bow Thank you, Deanie. Thank you, Josie. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Cher. Give yourself a big hand for the good work that you came here and you did. Yes.